And my man, Earl Thomas, is out. He is it's a sad out the- day in Ravens Nation. It is. It is. You know, this this is going to be a podcast that we're going to mostly uh, dedicate to Earl Thomas. Um, starting on Friday, this past Friday, he was sent home from training camp after after getting into an altercation with his teammate Chuck Clark. Um, rumor has it that he uh, he blew a coverage on a play, and Chuck Clark uh, called him out on it. He didn't appreciate the words that Chuck Clark had for him, and he punched him in the face. Mm-hmm. So he was yeah, not him. not not even rumor. I mean, he 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 copped to all that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the rumor is. part is we, we. I mean, we don't, we're not exactly sure what was said. I mean, I said you know, I, I yeah. know it was over the coverage, right? It was over, it was over uh, the, the blown coverage. So over Earl not not knowing what his job is. So basically, you know, what was going on is this isn't the first little. Uh, little incident he's had with the team. So this goes back from, from last season when he got into it with Brandon Williams after that loss to the Cleveland Browns, right? And they seemed like they squashed it, and, you know, the season went fine. He played fine. Um, but you always got that feeling that he didn't quite fit into what the Ravens were trying to do. That's, that's what right. I, I kind of took, took away from it. And, you know, we could talk about what happened this offseason uh, with, with his wife, although I don't feel like – that should factor into it because he was a victim in that situation. But, I, and I honestly, I don't think it does. I mean, you know, we, we, they're not sending DJ Fluker home. You know, right. he, was, no. he was also a victim this off season. No, but uh-huh. I think they did. I, you know, we heard rumors from when that situation happened with Earl Thomas that they were looking yeah. into his contract. I think they were absolutely trying to use that situation to, to get out of his contract. Yeah, I, I think they were, they were looking for a way to get out of it. And yeah, they, they may have been trying to use that. But I don't, I don't think for a second that that was the reason. No, 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 no. Th- it's think just so that, you know, they, they paid for an elite safety and they got a good safety. Well, I, I bring that up only to, to, to uh, say that that's when I started looking at it and thinking he's not really their, you know, the, the, the right fit for the team. Because yeah. if those rumors are true, then that tells me that they weren't fully satisfied with his play on the field. Even though he, he played well for all intents and mm-hmm. purposes, I think they paid him because they thought they're going to get a playmaker to replace C.J. Mosley. Right. And they didn't quite get that. Right. You know? And I think everything else kind of, you know, fell out from there. So we hear uh, how he had been late to practice or, or film study or, or, or whatever. Um, and I'm sure there's a whole lot more to it than that. Because in the end, after he got sent home, uh, apparently – the you know group of, of of leaders on the on the team basically told the coach coaching staff that they didn't want him back. So yeah. when you have when you have players saying, "Hey, we don't want this guy back," you know he's doing something. Right, and and that's not I I wouldn't think that's that's off field stuff. You know that's he's not like you said he's not fitting in with the team. Right. You know and, and he's not he's not becoming a part of that group. Right. You know and and they just don't want to deal with him anymore. Yeah, and you know. So I don't know if you saw the tape. I, I did see the tape of that blown coverage, and I saw Chuck Clark slam his helmet. You know, he he was he was pissed, mm-hmm. right? And I think, look, all we can do is speculate. But I feel like when you hear that he's showing up late to to uh, to practice, when you hear that he's kind of getting into it with teammates, I feel like it's one of those things where they're trying to correct him on certain things, and he's just not trying to hear it. And when he blows a coverage like that, you know, they're heated. Cause it's like, yo, you're going to do this in the game. It's going to cost us a game. You know? I feel like he's not taking it seriously because it's not even just you're late to practice or late to a meeting. It's the reason, right? Cause it came out that he, he told him he was late cause he had to get his car washed. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> you don't have to get your car washed at all. <laughs> you have to be at practice. Right. You have to be in your meetings. Right. And and when you when you're doing stuff like that, and then you know it it, it you know you don't have your 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 uh, responsibilities on the field taken care of, like you don't you don't know the playbook, right? Yeah. You don't know what coverage you're supposed to be in. It's gonna rub people you know the wrong way even more. Yeah, yeah. And he's a Super Bowl champion. He's been to two Super Bowls. He knows what it takes. Yeah. He he, he knows what it takes. So there's there's no excuses, man. There, there there really isn't. And you know what we're trying to do. We went 14 and 2 last year. You know what we're about, right? Um 
it's it's not you know like it's not time to play around like you got to be fully you know locked in and, and if your teammates don't believe in you man that says a lot it really makes me question what was going on in seattle because uh, he said he was having one of his best camps and like you're blowing coverages and skipping meetings and i you know i think it honestly just boils down to you get away with more when you're making more plays on the field and in baltimore you know they put him in a different role than he was than he was in in seattle yeah. so he wasn't having the same kind of impact again he, he played well yeah but he wasn't having that same kind of impact that he had for the Seahawks. And you can't act the same way when you don't have the same impact. Yeah,